Hi everyone, my name's Paul. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for taking a moment of your time to check this episode and this channel out. With this episode, I'm launching what will be a regular series on my YouTube channel, which is going to feature me reading great books from the past. These books are going to run the gamut of the human experience from important religious texts to literature to histories. I'm using this episode to explain how I see this series proceeding and to share a little of my personal background as it pertains to books and my passion for constantly experiencing and learning new things. I've always been interested in learning new things and am especially fascinated with the past, so much so that one of my university degrees is in history. Perhaps this may seem to be an odd thing to mention at this point, but I believe it's relevant to the topic of my always having been interested in learning and my fascination with the past. I'm a Canadian Armed Forces brat. When I was six, my father was stationed in Lara, West Germany. We lived in Lara for nearly five years before moving back to Canada. During those years, my parents took my sister and I on numerous trips where we participated in countless guided tours of castles, museums, historical homes, and World War I and World War II battlefields. Even at my young age, I was so fascinated about learning about these places that according to my parents, they never had to worry about losing me in the crowd because they always knew right where I was. At the front walking alongside the tour guide and pestering him or her with an endless array of questions. After graduating from university, my first major purchase wasn't a car, a nice business suit, a great briefcase, or even a computer. Nope. It was a complete set of Encyclopedia Britannica. How dorky is that? Much to my wife's chagrin, to this day my Encyclopedia Britannica set continues to have a place of honor in our living room, even though I'll admit that thanks to modern technology, nobody ever touches them anymore. Well, that's not quite true. They do get touched when it's time to do everyone's favorite chore, dusting. When I purchased my encyclopedias, I was given a series called The Great Books as a bonus. The Great Books, which you can see behind me, is a series of 60 leather-bound books like these that contain dozens of books which were written by the greatest and most influential authors, playwrights, scientists, psychologists, philosophers, historians, economists, and theologians of Western civilization. Ever since I received them, reading every single entry in the Encyclopedia Britannica and every book in the Great Books has been on my personal bucket list. But because of the time commitment it requires to read just one of these books, it's a goal that is much easier said than done. And I must confess that to date, I haven't made a great deal of headway in striking this item off of my bucket list. One book that had been on my bucket list since I was a child, and that I have managed to read in its entirety, is the Holy Bible. I managed this feat in my early 30s. Let's be honest, nearly everyone who is a Christian says that reading the Bible in its entirety from Genesis 1-1 to Revelations 22-21 is one of their goals. But in my experience, very few actually get around to reading the entire Bible. I mention this because a few days ago I had an epiphany, pun intended. One day I woke up and realized that I can't be the only person on earth who has a list of the greatest and most important books ever published that are on their bucket list, which they want to read, but just can't find the time to do so. So I figured that as I already have this YouTube channel, I could do something that would be mutually beneficial. Slowly, and I do mean slowly, read the books to you here on my channel. That way you'll get to have someone tell you the story whilst I get to read some of the books on my bucket list. That is why I've chosen the Holy Bible as the first book to be read in this series. I'm also hemming and hawing about whether to read a second book at the same time. Before making such a time commitment, I want to see how much of a commitment reading the Holy Bible is for me. Should I choose to read a second book simultaneously with the Holy Bible, the following titles are currently flowing through my mind as possible books. The Iliad by Homer, The Republic by Plato, The History by Herodotus, the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire by Edward Gibbon, and The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin, to name but a few. If you have an opinion of which book should be the next in the series, add a comment down below. Before I continue, I must caution you about this series to explain my waffling on reading a second or even a third book at the same time before the first book is finished. This series is not a high priority for me, 
either in my personal life or even for this YouTube channel. I'm currently working on material for two other series that I will be hosting on this YouTube channel in the future, and those series are much more important to me than this side project is. As a result, I'm planning on investing very little time making these, these episodes. They're literally just going to feature me reading for five to ten minutes in front of a camera and then posting them up on this channel. There is going to be little to no editing, and I'm going to admit right now that I'll be butchering a lot of names because I'm pretty bad with proper name pronunciation when the name isn't English or French. I'm sorry, but I'm not planning on investing the time needed to get correct pronunciation of names. Basically what I'm saying is that this series is going to be very bare bones with no more effort on my part other than to record the episodes and post them here on YouTube. The last thing I wish to say is that I most definitely encourage you, no I beg you, to submit any titles you believe I should read. There is just one rule to follow. The books or articles must not be under copyright. I will not be recording anything that is under copyright, so don't recommend books by Ken Follett or the Harry Potter series, for example, because I guarantee you that I won't be recording those. Other than books that are copyrighted, I'll consider any books you wish to suggest. Just submit your suggestion in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.